Hey everybody, Don Dabney, Wine Country Guy. You're watching Left Coast Classics. Get in, we're gonna take a ride. Thanks for joining us to check out this cool 50 DeSoto Custom. This car has the coolest story. Now the current owner brought the car over. He didn't tell me. He just said, I got a 50 DeSoto. It's a special car. I heard you're the guy. So I'd like to bring it over. So he brings the car over and uh, I'm walking around. I'm like, wow, this is awfully clean. I start looking at the paint closely and I see it's, it's the lacquer paint. It's the original paint. I open up the door to the in interior I look at the interior and I say, so when was the interior done? He said, it's never been done. This is the original interior. The car has 5,800 original miles on it. So all he knew is that he was told that by the guy he bought it from, I think 20 years ago. It's in the description probably with a little more accuracy because I'm just recalling it now. But uh, I open up the glove box and I find this flyer and there's a photo of this flyer in the photo section of this listing. And it's an auction for a lady named Minnie Hanna in 1967, and this car is listed for sale as part of this estate sale um, with 2,900 and so miles on it. And I'm looking at this, and so anyway, we I just realized this car was special and there was more to this car than this guy knew. So we took the car in, there's just nothing to do to it. It's I, actually, that's the hood needs a little help staying up. I think it needs like a new. Uh, spring or something that's like it with the whole car but it really just didn't need anything so we took the car in and um and i started out put it on a rack and you won't even believe the undercarriage just keep watching this video and you'll see it i also went through the trouble of walking around the lower part of the car while it's on the rack with a magnet to show you there's just there's nothing going on in the lower part of the body this is like so original and um anyway getting back to it we did all this, and this is what we do. You know, we show you every square inch of the car, all the details, the good, bad, the ugly, whatever it is. You'll see it all here because that's what I do. But I really got so curious about how, where did this car come from? And so uh, I decided to look up Minnie Hanna, and I found some old news articles. And so she, she, she lived in Iowa. That's where this car came from. She was born in 1880, and she was the housemaid for this family uh, the Colbys. It was just actually a man and a wife, Mr. and Mrs. Colby. And uh, her name was Ellen Colby. And uh, so in 1914, uh, the husband had already passed away and the widow, Mrs. Colby, passed away. She left Minnie Hannah, the housemaid, all of her money. She left her about $150,000 in 1914. So I went over to Google you know, I check out the inflation calculator. So that's like 3.2, 3.5 million dollars in today's money. So that was a lot of money for that for the maid to inherit from this family. She apparently must have been very loyal to him and great to them. And uh, she lived frugally the rest of her life, from what I could read from all the research. She uh, she died in Iowa in 1967. The car was uh, put up for auction through an auction house at the bank had uh, hired to do it, showing 2,900 and change in mileage. And then it was bought by this farming couple, and I was able to read a little bit about them online, the Helixons. And uh, anyway, the Helixons bought the car, and I think they're already looking, going, look, it's a 17-year-old car. I know it's only a, you know, I know it's only a DeSoto Ethel or whatever, but uh, they recognize, they must have, how special it was to already have a 17-year-old car with under 3,000 miles on it. So, um, so it looks like they put the car away, and in 1974, uh, the farmer, Mr. Hellickson, he passes away. The 80s come around, and uh, Mrs. Hellickson sells the car to a collector in Orange County, California, who I'm told has had a, had a pretty good collection, and uh, he puts it in a heated warehouse and apparently properly stored it, you know, because uh, you can just tell. And uh, my client buys the car roughly 20 years ago from him, and because uh, his wife thought it looked pretty in the magazine where he had it advertised, they bought the car. They've only driven it a couple thousand miles. The car now has 5,867 miles and uh, Minnie Hanna's 1950 DeSoto Custom. Super cool. And when you get in the car, you're just overwhelmed by the smell of mohair that is so well preserved. It's still soft. Everything is soft. Everything is supple. Um, the, it, even you look at the, closely at the bank light on the steering wheel and you can see the pearl, uh, sort of texture inside of it, the medallions. Um, 
It's just the gauges are clear as day. It's really a special car. So we're hoping this car is gonna find its way into a collection for somebody that really digs preservation cars because that's what this is. It's, it's a DeSoto Custom, I get it, but how many cars 68 years old do you see that have only 5,000, 6,000 miles on them? This is one of them. And I'll tell you, when you open up the hood and you start looking at those photos, you see the original grease pencil marks from the factory. You see the OK final stamps on the firewall. Um, you know, we open up the door and there's a sticker in the door for the maintenance guide and record. It's just unscathed, no overspray, nothing. I can tell you the only paintwork I see on the car is that the front left fender has been repainted at some point. We don't know. It wasn't by the current owner. And it's had a little bit of touch up here and there. So expect a little bit of, little bit of bruising and patina, of course, after 68 years. But it really is amazingly well preserved and really unusual. So anyway, I want to take you for a ride. So hop in and let's go. Let's fire this DeSoto up and take a spin. So here's a little shot of the motor running. You see it runs really smoothly and nicely. What you will notice is there's a stick holding the hood up. And that's because over here, I think it's got the wrong bolt down there. I was told holding it in there. So I think that's probably fairly fixable. I don't think it's the spring, but it may be. Anyway, it's just so incredibly original under here and the car really runs nicely. Something kind of cool under the hood too, is you can see it's got the original paint on the engine. But if you come over here, you can see the data tag, and you can see the, the uh, OK stamps that are still under the hood from the different uh, points in the factory. There's the final OK, and there's even a chalk mark up there. So it's just really kind of unusual to be able to see one of these with all the original factory stampings that haven't been worn off or washed out or something at some point so anyway it's a great running car and just so cool that it's so original so the body's so phenomenal on this uh desoto what i wanted to do was uh uh just take you around with the magnet and show you there's just uh it's just there's no filler in that I mean, even down here at the corners of the doors, which would be a real weak spot on anything from this era. Just metal, as far as we can see. No signs of filler. You know, and as I look at the paint, I, I can tell the difference between the uh, lacquer paint, of course, which would have been used on this car, and the non-lacquer paint. So I know I'm looking at a lot of original paint on this car, though I do know um, there's been some um, touch-up around the car as needed. I think it had some scratches and so forth on the front, and it's had a little bit of hand touch-up, but I mean, it's a phenomenal preservation car. It really is. And uh, anyway and no filler that I can see at the bottom of the car with the magnet test. So pretty cool. Right, I've got to take you under this DeSoto with insanely low original miles. It's it, it just when I saw the car, I was like, no way. And uh, we put it on the rack and we didn't even clean it. I mean, it's just, it's really quite amazing. Check this out.
Got a little bit of oil over the years blown onto the oil pan. Nothing serious, just typical. But look at the floors in the frame. It's pretty phenomenal. We get up in here to the uh, inner rear quarters, you know, totally clean. There on the passenger side in the inner rockers. There's no rust anywhere here. So thanks for checking out our cool 50 DeSoto. Be sure to check out our website at leftcoastclassics.com, social media sites. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we have a killer, killer YouTube channel with millions of views and hundreds of great car videos. Be sure to check me out on the Velocity channel with Mike Brewer on Wheeler Dealers, season 15, episode eight, and season 11, episode eight. We always get lucky eight on the episodes on Wheeler Dealers. All right, until next time.